Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Greta and I have a special guest today, my friend Carlos from Barcelona. We've been friends for 20 years. 20 years? How long have you been in this country? 20 years, 20. right? 20 years. Can you believe it? He's tolerated me for 20 years. Yeah. So he is going to be, see, he knows. It wasn't easy. Yeah. He's going to be judging and rating some female fragrances of mine. So I have been trying to pin him down for this for so long. Uh, I think he's flaked on me three times. Here's oh, that's just done there. Yeah. So <laughs> it's okay. Three I love him for times. it. I love him for it. So if that's something you're interested in, stay tuned for that. Hey guys, welcome back. <laughs> I'm so excited for this. Okay, so I have, I'm gonna do a two series on this. I have some higher end and some more affordable designer, high end designer fragrances. So I'm gonna do some of these really popular fragrances first. Uh, let's see. And he is not a fraghead. He does not know these fragrances. He does know a beautiful woman when he sees it and he knows a wonderfully smelling woman when he smells one. So he's a, uh, he's no rookie, shall we say. He's always been a little hardcore. And you know what? He's actually a retired pro athlete. Mm -hmm. How many years were you pro for? Not that many, maybe, um, no, about 20, yeah. Yeah, not that many. Uh, yeah, <laughs> not 20. that many, just 20 years. Yeah, so. Even at his ripe age, he's still ripped. It's impressive, and he still does personal training and all that. So he's mm -hmm. in super good shape, and he has always been a magnet for beautiful women. So, mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> so let's see. Point. I am going to start okay. with some of these, and you tell me what you think of the fragrance, the image it gives you, the type of woman you think that might wear it. I know you're not shy on impressions, so. Hey, um, I will do my best. We did this for fun one time off camera, so I know he gives good opinions. Are those the same perfumes? No. Not, no. There might be one or two. Okay. Let's see. He does not know any of these fragrances. So try this one. And then you know. uh, what you want. I say what I, f yeah. I, I think about it. Yeah. I might get the top notes oh, right now, so I might jump ahead a little bit because of the top That's notes. That's a very good one, by the way. Yeah, huh? Yeah, I'm going to wait a little bit. Now, is it casual, more formal, fun More formal, date, certainly. More formal. more formal. You know what? This kind of perfume, you make... It wouldn't surprise me to smell it in an office. Somebody in the office wearing this one. So it's office appropriate. It's not offensive. It's very friendly. Yeah. It's very tame, but beautiful. Very formal. Yeah, certainly. No. Uh, oh, so by formal you mean work appropriate? Okay. Yeah. Not like dressed yes. up occasion. Okay. Mm, yeah. No. Do no. you like it? Yeah, I do. I do, but I will. Yeah, I, I think this is the kind of perfume you you can you can find or you can smell in an office. Okay. Yeah. Good to know, ladies. This is. <laughs> I would agree with that actually. Yeah. I would agree. This is a really good yeah, one. Yeah, you get to. A, I did for, say a notary, and then the, for a more. A more casual work environment, not like a CEO or like mm. high end so, work, so but like you're right? in a notary and then sign some papers, and the girl that's bringing all the papers and all the documentation it's is the one good. that's wearing that. I totally see that. Yeah. Oh, all right. <laughs> I like it. I like it. All right, let's see what else we have here. <laughs> you like it. You're going back for more. Yeah, I like it. Okay, the next one. And actually, it doesn't get all that one. Let me see. I'll put the names on the screen too. What do you smell? Yeah. This is a, it's a fruit one, right? Mm. You get strawberry? Yeah, it's a, exactly a strawberry one. Uh, not my type. Age group? <laughs> yeah. I, <laughs> I think it's... Actually, if my girlfriend wears this one, I would say, oh, can you change it? <laughs> Cause it, 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 yeah, no, 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 my type. No, Can my you dog. change it? I love yeah, it. I this is why I love Carlos. <laughs> hey, I need to say, I'll be He'll honest. He'll tell you, not... this is why he's so awesome for this. But that's just my personal taste. Yeah. Yeah, no, I go with What about your way. daughter? Now, your daughter is how old now? 17. Yeah, he has a 17 year old daughter. Could you see your daughter wearing yes, that? Certainly. This is for my daughter. Yeah, wait, yeah. Yeah, that would be perfect for her. 
No, do you think she'd like it? Now, your, his daughter is very sporty. Boy, she is a rock star. I don't know what your daughter can't do. She, like, rocks everything. Yeah. And then she also, there was a lockdown here. So the schools were closed. She goes, Dad, Papa, I'm going to go to Barcelona this year to school because those <laughs> schools are open. And she did it all herself. Like, like she's herself, amazing. Sure. And mm -hmm. she speaks fluent Spanish, too. Like, she's amazing, that kid. Yeah. Learned to sail you. with you. It. Yeah, I think yeah. so, too. You did a really good job raising her. <laughs> so that's what's interesting. Because it, it, she's a very strong personality. And you can see her wearing yeah, this no, one. Yeah, but for the age, right? Yeah, that, that would, yeah, because it's not that formal. This is not a strong one. I, I think I, I've seen, I know she likes blue. Dolce & Gabbana blue. I've seen mm -hmm. that in the bathroom. And then another one I can't remember. That was late that I yeah, saw that she was Yeah, that's a, that's a, could I say that? That's a teenager one? Kind it's of a thing. A teenager one, kind of like it's a, young. young. Young, It's a younger one. Mm -hmm. I would agree with that. But yeah. there, there are some older people, when they're feeling in a young, youthful mood or doing something fun, might turn to that one, I think. But I agree with that. Uh, it's definitely, you know, a little know, more so youthful. I, yeah. Hmm. Maybe Sweet. not in a formal uh, occasion, right? Like more like if you go out for, I don't know, Sunday walk or something like that, more than at night time. There you go. <laughs> what happened? Oh, is this a special one? This is the next one. No, I'm putting it on the camera so they know what it is. And oh, man, I will... That's not my type at all. <laughs> no, no, this doesn't pass the test. Let it dry down a little bit. You like this one? I have a lot of perfumes, Carlos. Okay. Mm. You know what? <laughs> Gonna be honest, if Absolutely. I'm in, a, like, let's say, in a, you know, company dinner, and the girl next to me or the woman next to me sits down with this person, I will say, ah, oh, bummer. <laughs> You'd be upset it, to sit yeah, next to her. Yeah, it's too, yeah. <laughs> and then, ah, out of all the perfumes, no, I don't, I don't buy this one. It's not for, not for me. Yeah. I mean, so far, the first one is the one I like the most. We have plenty. Don't you worry. <laughs> okay. Plenty to choose am I, from. Am I saying something wrong? I mean, is, is that... No, it's beautiful what you're saying. It's perfect. The truth is always the best. I think it's awesome. Right, guys? Agree? Comment down below. <laughs> I'm not the expert Comment anyway, down below if you I'm think he's doing great. Best. That's That's better, maybe. No, I still not my... Let's see. What kind of woman would wear it? What do you get from it? This one is for those ones that want to be noticed way too much. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I do. You so know it's for those, a... those women that are too flashy. Mm -hmm. That goes with that. Kind of like a woman is like, oh, that woman is so flashy, long nails, you know, very. Flashy, right? Lots like, of jewelry, lots yes, of makeup, yes. very made up. This one goes okay. with her. Certainly, 100%, I nail it. This one goes for her. I don't like that one that much. Who do you see wearing that? Or what image does it give you? Hairdresser. <laughs> Hairdresser? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> Hairdresser, <laughs> totally. Salon, beauty so salon. So it has like a cosmetic -y kind of vibe? To yes, yeah. this one is beauty salon, totally. It has something at the end that reminds, you know when you get into a, a beauty salon and every and it's busy and you, you smell it? it? Smells like products. Yes. Beauty products. Yes, not one specifically, but it has that characteristic. This is it, smell it. I, I'm very familiar with it. That's Chanel number five. Okay. The next one. Let me see. Should get a little head. Now, some of these. now we're getting serious here. I like this one. This one so far the best one. <laughs> really? Yeah. Well, you know who would wear this one? Who would wear this one? You know when you you are you know when you were in, in, in classroom and there was that fascinating woman that is nothing flashy, that is so not obvious, but she's so attractive. You know what I'm saying with that? The girl next door type? Yeah, but so kind of person that doesn't want any kind of attention and she's so perfect though. 
okay, that one will wear this kind of perfume, 100%. So you know what I'm saying with that? She's so perfect. She will be wearing this perfume for sure. 100, hmm. yes. <laughs> okay. Gosh. Wow, <laughs> all right. Okay. I like that one. Actually, I'm gonna put this one aside. Okay. The next one. All right. Oh man, if we're getting into that delete now. I like this one. <laughs> we're getting somewhere, guys. We're finding some. It has more weight when I find some that you don't like, though. You know what? It, it puts it more perspective. It's in the same category this one, but this is heavier. This is, is this is heavier. See, this is very, this is the one I like. Manifesto. Manifesto is the one he's really loving. Yeah. And this is the same kind of type, but it's a little, slightly too heavy. So if, if a woman wears this one, you can smell it. Versus this one is that kind of, you can't smell it so, so well unless you're very close. Oh, she goes by and leaves that wave of trail. Yeah, trail of smell. The sillage. Yeah. That's a sillage when they walk exactly, by and leave a trail. Exactly, this is it, which I love that kind of thing, right? But this one is a little bit heavier. So actually she will be sitting to desk on one side and you will smell? still smell it because it's heavier. I think they both have a lot of vanilla. Let me smell this one. Yeah. Yeah. And so what, would you say daytime, nighttime, maybe? Yeah. And what happened with this one that that it won't happen with this one. This is the thing you get, you get tired of this one. This is just too heavy. You know what I'm saying? After a while, you wanna you, you wanna keep the distance. Versus this one, you can't get enough. No, you can't get enough. It's so <laughs> mellow. Is that for this one? I forgot. Sorry. All right. Oh. Let me see. Nah, this is a this is softer, but the smell it's it's softer. I cannot. I don't like it that much. That one. It's softer. Boy, softer, yeah. See, this one is hard to to. Can we just spray it some more? Can you? No, know? it's not about that. Yeah, that would be so. <laughs> If some, gosh, I mean, if somebody wears this perfume, I wouldn't be interested in her at all. Starting, okay. Starting there. Okay. It's a turn off. It's a, not quite a turn off. It's just like, mm. Not a, neutral, but yeah, not a turn yeah. off. Yeah, it's like, God, girl, you should have picked a different one. You know what I'm saying? Kind of that. Okay. We're going to pick a different one. Yeah, this is a good one. It's a certainly good one. Heavy, nighttime, 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 dinner time, fancy dinner. Yeah, fancy dinner. Important meeting, fancy dinner. Yeah. Man, it's hard to, yeah. I tell you where I will find this uh, perfume. Oh, I would expect to find it. Meet, business meet, meeting, nighttime business meeting, or you know, dinner like it's formal, and the woman is between forty and fifty. So yeah, some late mid forties to mid fifties. Hmm. Why? Why do you, why are you say? <laughs> why you you wear this one? This is what it is. I own all of them. <laughs> I, I own all of these. I actually don't wear that one very often. Not for a date. That's what I mean. Right. Wow. You won't be able to see, but I'll put on the screen what this is. Oh my God. That, <laughs> no, 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 no. I know exactly. This? Could you? Gra grandma. <laughs> grandma. Grandma. Uh, 60 plus. <laughs> grandma. Grandma, wow. what, what is it? What what what, what is this? Kayali oh. pink pepper. And what what does it have? Basically, God, grandma. Do you get that vanilla? Like I can even smell it over here from just spraying it in the air. Grandma, Kayali vanilla. It's the powderiness I think that's giving you that vibe. Maybe. Yeah, totally. Grandma. There's a pink pepper. Grandma, 
Yeah. Really? Oh, totally. Church kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah. Grandma, uh, this, this is <laughs> family Which dinner one? or lunch at Christmas time. Kayali pink pepper. Where the grandma comes and she's all, you know, dressed up. She's wearing, grandma is wearing this perfume for sure. Yep. I didn't expect that one at all. <laughs> no, okay. No. I like this one. What is this one? Can I say? No, I'll tell you in a little bit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, can I say something about this one? Yes. This one for me is. <sighs> It's the kind of perfume that you you look at you, you look at the at, at the woman and you you tell her, please tell me you don't have a boyfriend, kind of thing. You loved this one last time when we did the right? general. Yeah. See, this one. If I he loved this, he loved this one. If a woman goes by I think he with said, this perfume, I will ask her. It's like I will pull her hand. I will say, please tell me you don't have a boyfriend. You you'd feel compelled to kiss her, wouldn't you? So. <laughs> I like this one. <laughs> Louis Vuitton. I'm gonna put these one lives. in the group of the ones I like. That the little really group like. there. Two so far. <laughs> this is the last one actually. That's good. It, it doesn't say much though. It's very casual. Do you think your daughter would like that one? Yeah, it will be it will be young and casual, not not too strong, right? It's not one of those that you get tired of it because you don't smell it that much. Maybe like in the summertime when you want something lighter and more casual. No. Beachy, really? beachy. Hmm. I mean, it's not a beachy fragrance, but I mean in a more casual. No, no. I you know what? It could be at any time, but it is very casual. It's like uh, you know you you. you yeah, you can go, I don't know, somebody's house and uh, and you are doing great with this one. You know, you're not suffocating Just people. in jeans yeah, and a t-shirt. Yeah, and you're not suffocating the environment, you know, it's like, oh my God, who, who who's wearing, you know, mm -hmm. perfume? This one, it will never happen because it's very soft and it's very, uh, it's pleasant one. Feminine? For sure. Yeah. I find that one to be a great feminine, girly, casual fragrance. That's just an easy reach. Yeah, super easy. That's mm. you're not dressed. You know, you're in your Uggs and in jeans, running some errands, and you can spray this yeah, on, and it's. Yeah. But it keeps a girliness to and it. And you can go to, uh, at work with this one, and you're not upsetting uh, anyone. You know when somebody is is overdoing it with the perfume. You mean overspray? <laughs> yeah. No. Gosh, I have one friend that. She wears a very nice perfume. I don't know which one it is, but it smells very good. But you can actually smell it from a mile, you know, away. It's just brutal how much she puts on, right? Because you cannot get used to it, and then you you spray more and more to to smell yeah. it, right? So this one, even if you do that, it will be. I think it will be okay. Yeah, it's a very light fragrance. It's very right. Um, I don't know about the longevity on it. I don't get the best longevity, so you kind of have to overspray that one a little bit, and it doesn't project very far mm. away from you, so you it's, like you can mm. overspray it for sure. Well, it's soft. I mean, yeah, it, it, yeah. Oh, you put it with the fragrances you like. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, just so we're clear, he put it with the manifesto, Atrapple Revs. Oh, along with that, wasn't there a third? La Nouette you liked too, but you didn't put that with the favorites. It went with the favorites, guys. He's kind of poo-pooing it, but <laughs> he's like, it's... just quietly put it on the side <laughs> with the ones he wants to save. Uh -huh. That was awesome. You did a good job. So that's, that's you it? did it for me. Um, wow, you did it for me. He pulled aside his top three. So his top three are I the mean... gorgeous Gardenia Flora. No, this is the soft one. This is the one you said uh, doesn't like attention, but she's perfect. Exactly, the soft one, see? <laughs> Thank God I did. I said the same. All right, what is the one that I like so much? The one that you liked last time too? So you would put that one second place then? Yeah, that is second place. Well, it, but, it, but you know what? It, it, it's a different environment. You were this one. Well, you got to rank them for me. So we're going to rank... 
Which one do you like better? You can change your mind tomorrow. That's okay. I won't penalize you. We all do. <laughs> We're all fickle. No, this is very good. One. Yeah, I think he likes this one the best. Very good. The Louis Vuitton. I yeah. got that. This one is. These guys, what? These guys. This is the. It. This is that it. one projects. I mean, that one, when I spray the strip, it's all in this area too. It's very oh fruity. Oh my God, yes. Yes, this one. It's fruity. Yes. It's Number girly. One. It's sweet. It's, um, but there's something more refined about it. Louis Vuitton does a great job. I, I have the three that I love from Louis Vuitton. That one always gets rave. <laughs> <laughs> the little thief. I get these. Oh my gosh, the camera is going <laughs> to. All right. Camera evidence. He's trying to steal this. I think he really likes it, ladies. Definitely right. a winner. So that's the winner. You did awesome. And no, but I tell you, this one is the winner, but is the winner at night time. Which one? The one that I like so much is one. And the then, Louis Vuitton. Yeah, and then the other one that I like is more casual, like to wear it. So. Yeah, at work without over, uh, you know. Uh, it's a big difference in price in these two, too. So that makes sense. This one's actually more affordable. It's designer. This is considered designer because it's a Louis Vuitton. They have multiple things, <laughs> but it is a higher end. Some people would consider it kind of niche like, but it, it is truly a designer, but it's definitely higher end. But that's cool. See, you don't have to spend a lot. His top two were a designer and a Louis Vuitton. Totally. But that Louis one, casual to wear any, any occasion that is not very like uh, fancy. And none of these you. You reported that you smelled a lot already, right? It's not like, oh, I smell it all the time in town. I didn't no, really hear any of that. No, no. None of and, them were overplayed. Yeah, and I tell you something, uh, the blue one, uh, this one, uh, it's hard to get tired of it. Versus the other ones that I smell, gosh, I will be, especially the one for uh, older people, um, <laughs> you get tired quite fast. And you can overdo it, right, a little bit. Mm -hmm. Like you can spray too much. This one is way too good. And then the other ones are way too soft. So I, I think, yeah, those three are my favorite for sure. Nice. Those two the most. Awesome. So I went this summer to Menorca. It was um, Car Menorca Carlos. Menorca Island is, a, is in the Mediterranean. <laughs> yeah. Carlos was a wonderful host. I went to Menorca this summer and he has a house there. So I was able to come. He goes for the summer. And if you'll have me, I'm dying to come back again because well, uh, that vacation was, um, I like to call it the Chevy Chase Mediterranean vacation I because every single thing went wrong for me. Okay. So here we are day two in Dallas. Don't mind the appearance. I am in the same outfit as yesterday because I've been stuck here. I did finally get a hotel room because my flight won't be until tonight when I got in here yesterday morning. So lots of flights canceled. Um, it's like something I've never seen in my life. This has been absolutely awful. I don't have much with me in my carry-on, but I did have a change of clothes, like shorts and flip-flops for when I got there to the island. Um, so here I am, like, I am. Um, I am in the same outfit as yesterday. Um, good thing I am comfortable. Good thing I am comfortable. Um, but here we go. Day two at Dallas airport, hoping I can now craft a flight to Madrid since going to London is not going to work uh, because they have, they're considered high risk. So any connections there, even if it's for an hour, actually required a visa and a COVID test 48 hours before you land. So that expires when you're hung up in airports. So it's been a disaster. I was really kind of looking forward to a hot shower, um, but due to cross threading on the pipe, that's not gonna work. I'll show you a clip of that. You seriously can't make this up. The shower head is angled this way. And mind you, against the wall, you can't adjust it. The pipe is bent and you can't bend it back. So the pipe is angled to the wall. So you can't take a shower. Like I can kind of get my 
face in there a little bit, let it dribble down my body. But like, you can even see where it's hitting. You just can't make this up. Hey everyone, I am snug as a bug in my little first class pod. I am going into day three this outfit. I, I did pack a little change of clothes when I get to um, the Mediterranean, but yeah, this has been an adventure of all adventures, but we're not quite there yet, but this is a, a big jump. This is a big jump. <laughs> we're getting closer. Cannot wait to be on the beach. So, okay. Finally made it to Menorca. Super excited. It's absolutely beautiful here. Got a little nervous when I saw the tracking for my luggage wasn't updating from DFW. Um, yeah, it didn't arrive to the carousel. So my luggage was still marked for the original itinerary. So it went to Heathrow, London Heathrow, and then here should be arriving tonight, they think. And then I should be able to get it tomorrow. So now I'm trying to get a rental car. <sighs> I mean, I just can't. So I did get a rental car, which because my internet didn't work on the plane, I couldn't update my rental car reservation that I was late. So it got canceled and they're out of cars. <sighs> but I did manage to find a car, so I'm really happy because otherwise I don't know how I would get to the other side of the island. This has just been like relentless, absolutely relentless. And where the heck am I going here? Oh my gosh. I had like a 10 day vacation <laughs> that ended up one day with Carlos and my luggage. Like in order to have both, it was one day. And then I, like this whole nightmare to get there it took me three days to get there, five days for my luggage. And then I got called back to work. It was just, I mean, every single thing went wrong to the point of just comedy that it just really was like a Chevy Chase comedy movie. Um, so it'd be fun to go back and yeah, just let's do, do that. it all Let's again. do something here. Uh, I'll keep this too, and then you come back at any time you want. How's that? <laughs> Excellent. Guys, if you want to see more of Carlos, <laughs> give him some encouragement in the comments and I will get him on this program more with me. Um, um, you did an awesome job, do. Carlos. I am so happy you finally made it. Thank you. Hey, it. listen, uh, you know. Um, it... <laughs> right. You guys have a good time and I will see you in the next one. Mwah.